Hi everyone, Hannah here and welcome back to the channel. So today I thought I'd showcase the Harvey's bags that I have. I did used to have more but since Loungefly came into my life, some of my Harvey's have gone out of my life. Um, so I'm going to start with Mickey. Now I wear this Mickey as a backpack. It's a very long strap. You can just have one long strap going from this side to this side. Now bear in mind all of these Harvey's have a lot of janglies on them so a bit noisy. Um, but I wear them as a backpack, which there's a little loop just here. And it's Mickey's face. Now with all the Harvey's bags, they are made out of the seat belt material, which you can probably see a bit better across the back there. So this one is just Mickey's face and they all have different kind of keychains with them. So there's the Sorcerer Mickey hat, the little book, and then the broom from Fantasia. And what I love about the Disney Harvey's bags as well is the zips have Mickey's, well he's upside down there, but the zips have Mickey's on them. So the inside for this one, oh, I'll come to that part in a second. So the inside is, I don't know if you can see it very well, um, it's the broomsticks carrying the water pails. And there's always quite a few internal pockets with the Harvey's bags. We do love an inner pocket. So with this one, comes this which is a mini it's just like a little coin purse that can hang on the side um in the shape of the sorcerer mickey hat i just like to keep it inside so i know where it is so that one's mickey there is a mini version and i think for halloween they did a pumpkin mickey in this sort of style where it's his face but obviously in orange um i'm not sure if there's a pumpkin mini not 100 percent sure but that's mickey I'm going to pop them down here as I'm done, just because I probably can't set them up like this again. And again, from the Fantasia line, is this one. So you can see it has the same three charms, the broom, the book, and the hat. Oh, and again, they all have the Disney Harvey's tag there as well. So this one is like an all-over print. So different bags will have slightly different placements of the print on this one. So you can see there's Sorcerer Mickey, there's the brooms, there's lots of stars everywhere. I really love this one because I love Sorcerer Mickey. And that's the same all over and on the bottom. So this one has, so this one's more of a shoulder bag. So it has, and I keep the, I tend to keep the straps inside the bags if I can just to keep them safe. So this one has a long shoulder strap. Again, you can adjust all of the straps. And this will have that same... I don't know if you can see it very well, but the same lining as that Mickey. Sorry if the jingle jangle's getting annoying. But again, they do clip off actually. So if you didn't want it on there, if it was really annoying, you could just take it off and have the bag by itself. I like to keep them on there though. Why not? That one is that one. Next. Now these two are from the same line, so I'm going to do... Oops, sorry. I'm going to do this one next. This reminds me actually, there's a lady on Facebook who makes bows out of some of them. Let me just put that in there. I was sure that I had a Little Mermaid bow. Now, after I finish filming, I'm going to go and try and find it again. Because there is one place, there's actually two places that I haven't looked. That I didn't think it would be there. No, in my look, it's probably going to be there. So if I can find it, then I'll pop a picture of it in here. But there's a lady that... She buys these bags. Now, it's going to sound really odd. She deconstructs them, so she takes them apart, but then she makes bows out of the material, and they're stunning. And you can just kind of add them on, and she'll send, like, a really hefty um, safety pin type thing, and you can just kind of clip the bow on your bag. And I do somewhere have a Little Mermaid bow to go with this bag. So, like I said, hopefully I popped a picture up if I found it. Because um, I couldn't find it earlier, and I'm, I didn't have a panic, but I was like, where is this bow? I know it's somewhere, it's somewhere in the house. Now, if I can't find it, then I'll find it when we move in, I'm sure. So, back to the bag. So, this one's the Little Mermaid. They did a backpack of this one as well. Um, and it's got Ariel, Sebastian and Flounder on there. And Ariel's kind of got different poses as she goes along. And the pattern is the same front and back for this one. I mean, honestly, with this one, you can't really tell if there's a front and a back. Mine folds. Cause I keep it stored that way so technically I think this is the back of mine but 
and the ones like this the tote bags have little feet at the bottom so you can just kind of sit them on you could pretend i don't but you could rest it on the floor next to you if you needed to and you wouldn't have to worry about it touching a dirty floor because it's got these little feet okay so the keychain for this one is a seashell and a dingle hopper which is really cute i think this one has a strap yes it does so you can kind of tell if they have straps if they have these two hooks either side and then strap that you can just hook on so it can become a shoulder bag or you can just carry it that way let me just pop out there for a sec so the inner lining for this one and again lots of inner compartments so the lining for this one is just a dark blue and there's lots of seashells in there so that's the little mermaid one I've put the strap back in otherwise knowing me I'll probably lose that as well so these two are from the same collection I'm going to do that one last actually because that one seems like it might be the loudest um, so in collaboration with okay we'll put that there so let's stop with Disney Parks and it was called Play in the Park so there's the tag and then this one has a Disney Parks tag on it I haven't been saying any of the prices Honestly, I can't remember. Harvey's are more expensive than Loungefly, but cheaper than Dooney and Burke, if that helps. So this was probably about $160 as a guess. I'm really not 100% sure. Maybe 180 for this one or maybe 160 for this one. If I can find any of that stuff, I'll pop it in the description down below. So this one's the biggest one that I have. Quite a big, lovely, substantial tote bag. And because it's playing the parks, it's got loads of the Disney parks on there, but not not just Walt Disney World. So obviously these parts are from California and then these parts are from Walt Disney World. And this is a huge pin on the front that's Mickey and Minnie. And I have actually seen some people who've taken this pin off and put a slightly smaller one on there. I've seen a lady that's put like the Disneyland sign on there and it looks beautiful. Um, I'm tempted. We'll see. Um, so this is the biggest Disney Harvest bag that I have. And then these little... Ooh. So the zipper on this one has a Mickey balloon on it. And then, oops, getting in a model. Okay, so the keychain for this one... Is strap. I'll get to the strap. So there's a Mickey hat. Let me hold it up. And on the back it says Mickey Mouse. There is a Mickey Premium ice cream bar. We have, what's this? Go back to Tomorrowland. Oh, Fantasyland. So I think these are just tickets. So the one says um, Tomorrowland and the one says Fantasyland. And then a big old cupcake, or is that Dole Whip? It's either a cupcake or Dole Whip. I mean, it could be either. So, whichever you want it to be. Let's open this one up. There is oh substantially big shoulder strap so again if you wanted it as a shoulder bag you could do that oops let me pop that down in here so the lining in this one it says play yeah play in the park i don't know if you can see that in the light and then the back of this one is just plain so this one does have a proper front and back unlike the little mermaid one um and then again has those lovely little feet at the bottom I'll pop that one back there so it should stay there now this one again i'm gonna try and hold these janky bits oh, i love this one so much so again play in the parks it's from the same range as this one now this one is the walt disney world version there is a disneyland version which looks the same however you can see here it says magic kingdom and then the date magic kingdom opened there you've got epcot and when epcot opened there you have Hollywood Studios and when Hollywood Studios opened and just here Animal Kingdom and when Animal Kingdom opened. Now the Disneyland one obviously has the Disneyland California Adventure and Disneyland Park. So that's the difference with this one. Just at a really quick glance you can't tell but when you actually look at the wording on there then you can tell. It moves. Now I'm the sort of person that will just happily sit there for an hour. Just moving this along <laughs> so it's got mickey at the front and then this little spinner which is his hand like he's pointing 
and then back of this one is just plain and this has all the same charm so the mickey hat the premium bar cupcake slash, cupcake slash doll whip ticket and then mickey balloon so if we go ahead and open up there is a strap on the inside now you notice this one is a slightly more substantial strap because like the mickey bag you can just hook it onto these two bits here and have it as a shoulder bag or with this bit you can make it a backpack so it can be like a tiny little circle backpack or a shoulder bag i will probably make this one into a backpack oh and again lining sorry playing the parts don't know if you can see that very well now this one is i'd say this would probably hold less than a lounge fly bag but again just a small bag if you want it around the parks and these do clip off if you didn't want it to so that doesn't jangle that much but with it it does jangle so all of these ones do clip off if you don't want them on there so yeah, that is my hobbies collection thank you all so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye